What's up guys, so today's Sunday. I'm gonna take you through a leg workout today. And just before I have to clean up the house because this little guy messed up the old place. Uh, there's a lot of hair and other things I have to do. So I'm gonna do a quick clean up here, uh, eat breakfast, and then I'm gonna go do my leg workout. I'm gonna wait a few hours, probably like an hour and a half or two after my breakfast because I don't like to train legs uh, with my stomach too full because I just feel sick uh, right out the gate. It takes like two sets and I want to throw up everywhere. So I'm gonna wait uh, for my food to go down a little bit and I'm gonna show you what I look like but it's not gonna be uh, the physique of today. It's gonna be a physique update I did this week after my back workout I think. And in this video I'm gonna show you what I'm currently eating right now, my macros and everything. And I'm sorry for the voice because I got sick this week. I got a cold. Uh, I know it's the beginning of me but it is what it is so that's why the voice is kind of weird but yeah so sit back relax and enjoy Alright, so the place is all cleaned up now, so it's gonna be clean for like two hours because he's losing hair like a, I won't say the word, but he's losing a lot of hair, so it's not gonna be clean for long. But at least for now, it feels good uh, to see the place uh, like that. So I'm gonna go to the gym. I have some groceries to do as well because I think I'm missing some chicken for the week. Yeah, so I have to go get some groceries. Uh, I have to go buy some blades to shave my face and a bunch of other stuff. So I'll see you at the gym. So made it to the gym. There's nobody here. So that's pretty cool because I'm going to be able to blast my music, do my thing, record this leg day. And yeah, so I'm going to get started with that because like I said, I have groceries to do after and some work to finish later tonight. So I have to get home in like an hour and a half two hours at top. So right now I'm drinking my EAs and creatine from Believe Supplements. So I'll put the code right down below so you can go check them out. Watch out if you ignite him, he's a road ahead of full prophecy To be the greatest beast the world has ever seen I feed him every day like the bones clean I feed him all the hate and he grows me And he gets caught through a big piss off quick And if you cross him, you might drop dead Metaphorically, of course, said to live this war Never getting bored, loves the blood and gore Always wanting more, feed him from the source They don't really understand until they feel the force apart And if you start shit, you'll be heartless in the darkness Torn apart quick, you left scars ripped You'll be chewed up and discarded and this world ain't right, won't accept it Negative energy, I expect it Once it's in your mind, it's infectious So fight for your life and reject it You better give me space, I'm protective My adrenaline spikes when I'm threatened And if you stay in my way, I'm aggressive Cause when there's no legs, it'll kill when I'm desperate So just came back from the gym, it's about like 4 right now and I had a great workout, uh, my legs are fried and definitely gonna need a lot of rest tonight because tomorrow's Monday and uh, Monday is always my biggest day, I have to answer all my check-ins and all that stuff so I have to be fresh and rested uh, for tomorrow so I'm gonna get some rest tonight and I wanted to share with you uh, where I'm at with my macros right now in the off season, uh, where my weight is at. I think uh, last check-in I was like around like 178 pounds, 100, 
yeah, I think I was 178 pounds. So when I started my prep, I was at 186 uh, with not a good condition. Well, it wasn't that bad, but I was definitely getting fat. And right now I'm pretty good, I would say. Uh, my condition is great. Uh, my weight is going up slowly, so my show was in November, so it's been a couple of months now. Uh, I'll share my macros at the bottom of the screen right now so you can see where I'm at uh, at the moment. And obviously, I didn't start there. We went up uh, like every week, uh, I'm sorry, I think we went up uh, like every month with my macros. I was slowly getting up. Um, my weight at first was moving slowly. Well, it's been pretty much moving slowly since uh, I finished my show. And it's great because we don't want my weight to just shoot up and I don't want to gain uh, like stupid body fat for no reason. And just to stay in great shape, uh, keep my performance as high as possible, which is where there are right now. Like I said, I still don't know when my next show is gonna be, but I'm starting to think at one or two show uh, in 2024, but I'll let you know if I decide if I do either one of these. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the results right now. As you saw in the last clip, that was a physique update on Friday, I think. And it was after my poll day. I think it looks pretty decent, but obviously we still have to push more. Uh, I want to grow a lot more before I step on stage again. So I still have a few months ahead of me if I ever decide to do a show in 2024. But at the same time, I don't have any time to waste. So I got to make sure that every week uh, I'm focused on my training, my food and all that stuff. So and making sure my recovery is on point because I got to say that's the part I haven't been the best in the last couple of weeks. I just go to bed way too late and I'm tired in the morning. So I definitely got to step this thing up and make sure that I recover properly. So. I keep seeing the same results and even better results uh, in the gym and on my physique. So right now, like I said, it's like around 4, 4.30 pretty much. Uh, so I'm going to go take a walk with this guy, even though he's sleeping uh, right next to me right now. But we're going to go for a walk and yeah. Uh, still have some work to do later tonight and I have to edit this vlog for tomorrow. So today was a really great day. It was really productive. I did a lot of things, uh, did a lot of work and great workout and had a lot of fun honestly. It's just so nice when you have one of these days that you do a lot of work and you're just on with everything that you're doing. So I'm super happy with that. And next weekend is going to be a lot of fun because we're going to FitLog, me, Antoine, Matt, uh, Lori and I don't know if Felix is gonna come with us uh, But yeah, pretty much the old crew is gonna be there. Well, one of Antoine's client is competing So it's gonna be his first show in men's physique and he's looking unbelievable Honestly his delts is back just he looks phenomenal right now, and I can't wait to see him on stage I hope he's gonna place well. I'm pretty sure but we never know in bodybuilding, right? You don't want to get the uh, hopes of the athletes too high because there's always a guy that can just come and beat everybody that we didn't know about. You didn't see him on Instagram or any of that stuff. And that's the problem because sometimes people get their hopes too high and yeah, they're just disappointed. So you just got to bring your best, do everything that you can, follow the plan to a T and just show up on stage at your best. And that's all you can do, honestly. And if you're just watching people on Instagram, trying to see who's competing against you and oh, am I better than him and all that stuff. It's just a really sick game to play, honestly, because it plays with your mind and you're not going to be focused on show day and that's not something you want to do. So for my athletes out there, make sure that you focus on your stuff. Don't look at the other guys. Just make sure that you bring your best and that's all you can do, honestly, and, and enjoy the day because you work so hard to get there. So might as well have a great time on stage and let the judge worry about the placings. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film in there because it's an expo. So we have a booth there and the booth is in the same room as the show is going to be taking place. So maybe I'm going to be able to bring my camera inside and they won't see me or whatever. But if not, I'll make sure to get some shot of Carl in the hotel room or whatever outside the venue. Uh, just to make sure that you see what he looks like. Because like I said, honestly, he looks amazing and it's going to be a great first showing for him. So I'll try to get as much footage as possible from uh, this uh, weekend. But if not, I'll give you a recap of what happened during the weekend. 
and hopefully we're going to be coming back home with a first place and a qualification for the pro qualifier. I think they're going to be in October, if I'm not mistaken. So if he qualifies, we're going to be going to Toronto in a couple of months. And if he doesn't, then we're going to be doing the Mimi Capes Classic next week, the weekend after. So he's going to be going there and probably the old crew is going to be there to support him as well. So that's going to be pretty cool. But hopefully we don't have to do Mimi Capes. We're just going to be doing Fitlog and he's going to be able to uh, go back in the off season for a couple of weeks, for a couple of months maybe. I'll let Antoine uh, worry about that because he's the coach, I'm not. Before I end this vlog, I just wanted to talk about something that I was faced with this week and it really sucked. And it was a comment that someone made about me and well, it sucked because it was the truth. And at first I was like, man, fuck that shit. I was, I was kind of pissed, honestly. And when I came back home later at night, I just really thought about it. And I just realized that the comment that they made was 100% true. And, that w and that's why it was so hard for me to listen to it. And that's why I was so pissed. But honestly, when someone makes a comment that doesn't sit well with you or anything like that. Maybe you have to look at yourself in the mirror and realize that it's 100% your responsibility to be on top of your game, to do the things that you said you were gonna do and all that stuff, because that's what happened with me. Somebody made a comment about me and it was just because I wasn't on top of my game and it's because they care about me deeply. And that's why it sucked so much because I knew it was true, but I just didn't want to face the truth at the moment. But like I said, later at night, I really thought about it and I realized like I was 100% responsible for this comment and they weren't at fault. I was the one at fault. So like I said, if someone makes a comment about you or gives you a remark and you're just pissed about it, then maybe it's your responsibility to not let that happen and make sure that you're always on top of your game so people won't be able to make comments about you and if they do it's in your best interest to really uh, take this into account and focus on what you can improve to not have comments like that in the future that's just one of my mistakes that i made and like i said in the previous video i want to make sure that i share all my mistakes so maybe in the future my kids will know that you're always 100 percent responsible for your mistakes and for your success as well. So if you try to blame it on others and not take responsibility for your mistakes, then you won't grow, uh, you won't improve, and you won't be a better person in the future. So make sure that you don't do the blame game because it's not gonna serve you. And it's not something that you wanna be remembered for. It's not gonna track anyone around you. So make sure you stay away from it and just own it. Take responsibility for your mistakes and it's gonna go a lot better for you in the future. So I'm gonna end the vlog right here. I don't wanna make it too long. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you learned something from it. Let me know in the comment section what you think of where my physique is at right now. If you think I should step on stage soon or not. If I should take a longer off season. And if you wanna see anything else in the upcoming vlogs, make sure to let me know in the comment section. So thank you so much for watching again guys and I'll see you in the next one.